If this cause of the Arabic of the Arabic Spring and uh, more particularly the Syrian uprising was a uh, good cause, a, a cause of justice, uh, why uh, should the, the mainstream media promote it with lies? Uh, one day uh, we were uh, watching the television and we saw on uh, Al Jazeera. Uh, tanks surrounding a suburb in Damascus. We are talking uh, in the early 2011, uh, around uh, March, of, uh, April uh, 2011, so the very early days uh, of the Syrian uprising. So those tanks uh, were uh, bombing, were shelling uh, the village uh, or the suburb of Jdaidit Artuz and Al Jazeera uh, following uh, the uh, declaration of the uh, Syrian Observer Observatory of uh, Human Rights, uh, stated that 25 persons were killed in uh, this uh, uh, place. So the next day I was to visit uh, the Patriarch in Damascus, and uh, there I uh, met with the priest, the Catholic priest of this uh, region, of this uh, Jdaidit uh, Artu's uh, suburb. So I presented to him my condolences, telling him, you know, uh, we have been praying for you uh, and uh, for your uh, dead people. He said, what are you talking about? I said, but uh, yesterday I saw the, those tanks, they were shelling, and uh, you had 25 people dead. He said, no, we have no tanks, we had no shellings, we have no people that uh, have been killed, and uh, I am very surprised to hear uh, from you. I just come, f I just came from Jdaid uh, Artuz, uh, and nothing has happened. So this very day, the patriarch decided to uh, found a uh, Catholic information center in the diocese of the patriarchate and we accepted to achieve uh, this realization. Now, slowly by slowly, we really saw in many other ways how there was a real uh, war, information war, uh, putting uh, many things uh, contrary to the reality. Uh, but uh, we could not do anything because uh, the, uh, the fact was uh, very much bypassing our possibilities. So that's why in November we, uh, uh, we uh, decided uh, to invite uh, reporters, journalists, Catholics and no Catholics to come to Syria and make their own reports because we said we are not experts, we don't know what is happening, so it's better. So they came, uh, more than 15 uh, journalists came from uh, Europe uh, some of them also from America, uh, North America and uh, South America. We saw the security forces trapped and also the civilian population trapped. And a third part that uh, nobody highlighted, uh, we call them unident uh, unidentified armed gangs, were uh, spreading terrors on everybody. And we have been attacked also by those gangs. So uh, this was in Qusayr, in the province of Homs. And when we went to Homs, we heard and we saw the population uh, saying terrible stories about uh, the tragedy they were living, being attacked day and night by those unidentified gangs who were killing civilians and uh, spreading terrors and uh, trying to paralyze the civilian life. I came back alone to Homs one, uh, one month later and I could uh, see with my own eyes in one day 100 civilians having been killed uh, in a, a just uh, unjustified way because there was the postman, there were an uh, employee, uh, all those people, universitarian, doctors, they were killed this very day uh, everywhere in Homs. 
just to paralyze and to terrorize the civilian population. Uh, those unidentified gangs, you know, have been uh, uh, identified by many uh, reports. And uh, today we can say that uh, those people are uh, Syrian, but mostly foreign far fighters of Al-Qaeda being recycled in Syria as uh, freedom fighters.